Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Pike County Commonwealth's Attorney's Office claimed another victory this week when a jury found an Elkhorn City man guilty of bringing a large amount of meth into the Pike County Detention Center. Assistant Commonwealth's Attorney Donald Smith says 38-year-old James Rowe was facing charges stemming from an incident in July of last year in which Rowe attempted to smuggle meth into the jail following an arrest. However, this case was much about much more than just the drugs alone. We want to send a message about the security of our jails and how important that is to us and also want to send a message about uh, taking a tough stance against persistent felony offenders which Mr. Rowe was and that after so many chances they don't deserve any more. The trial which began on Monday of this week only lasted two days. However, Rowe, who was out on bail pending the outcome of the trial, decided not to show up on Tuesday. Mr. Rowe did not appear on the second day. Judge Coleman gave him ample opportunity to, to, opportunity to appear, delayed the trial for a few hours, issued a bench warrant. Uh, our local police forces made a really strong effort to bring him in and they've not been able to do so yet. And in fact, he's still at large and the warrant is still pending. Anyone who knows the whereabouts of James Rowe is asked to contact your local law enforcement agency. Despite Rowe's absence in the courtroom, the jury returned a guilty verdict and recommended a sentence of 20 years.